So hi guys, last time I taught you how to install the QMK firmware to your computer and how to use the QMK configurator. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to install the QMK toolbox and how to use it to flash your hex file to your custom mechanical keyboard. So what are we waiting for? Let's get tinkering! So let's get started. First, go to the QMK website. So QMK.FM. Then scroll down, you will see the QMK toolbox. And then scroll down. So, so let's go get the latest release of the QMK toolbox. And of course, the driver. So we will need the driver of the QMK toolbox so this is an essential so that it could detect your keyboard or your Atmega devices the Atmega 32U4 or Arduino Pro Micro or even 10C2++ so let's open it Okay. So, if you are Windows, you just download QMK Toolbox install.exe. EXE. So, let's download it. Then, of course, the driver. So, download QMK driver installer. So, let's wait for the download to finish. And, we'll install it. So let's install the QMK toolbox first. So okay. So just click next. So then create desktop shortcut if you want to put a shortcut in your desktop. So, let's uncheck it first. Then, now let's install the driver. So, once you finish installing the driver, you can now open your QMK toolbox. So, let's open it up. So, there's the QMK toolbox. So, so let's find uh, the key map or the hex file that we will install. So open. Then this is my key map. So just click it. Now we will connect our keyboard. So I have here my DC60 mechanical keyboard. So as you can see, it is unplugged. Now we hold the space bar and then the B button. So this is the boot magic mode. So this is very useful so that you won't have to short the reset pin in your mechanical keyboard. So let's plug it in. So as you can see, I'm holding the B and spacebar button. So plugging it in. So I've released the, 
my hands already and it is detected by the QMK toolbox. Now let's flash it. So click flash. And there you go. I have successfully flashed my hex file. So that's all and thank you for watching. Just subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more QMK firmware videos.